friends welcome to my youtube channel learn commerce with namita i am namita mani in today's video let us solve a ratio analysis example in my last lecture i have explained you the example number 1 of ratio analysis this is the second example of ratio analysis the question is the following is a summarized profit and loss account for the year ending 31st march 2024 and the balance sheet as on date of abc limited so this is the profit and loss account and balance sheet so here they have given us the additional information also like average debtors they have given 12500 credit purchases 40000 credit sell 80000 now on the basis of this profit and loss account balance sheet and additional information we are required to calculate ratios for the for following ratios like stock turnover ratio debtors turnover ratio creditors turnover ratio working capital turnover ratio sales to capital employed return on shareholders fund prof, uh, gross profit ratio net profit ratio eps and operating ratio so total 10 ratios we have to calculate now without wasting time let's calculate the following ratios now first ratio is what stock turnover ratio now what is the formula to calculate stock turnover ratio cost of goods sold upon average stock now you can find cost of goods sold by two methods one is sales minus gross profit and second is openings uh, stock add purchases and so on in my last lecture i have explained you by two methods you can calculate cost of uh, goods sold but i find that this method that is the first method sales minus gross profit is easy way so so uh, for cost uh, for stock turnover ratio cost of goods sold upon average stock so for cost of goods sold we have to take sales minus gross profit so how much is the sales 1 lakh 1 lakh is the sales minus gross profit gross profit is how much is, uh, given in the question 50000 so 50000 is the cost of goods sold so right cost of goods sold 50000 second we have to find average stock now average stock to find average stock what is the formula opening stock minus closing stock divided by 2 so opening stock is how much 10000 10000 minus closing stock closing st stock is 15000 is equals to 5000 divided by 2 sorry sorry your average stock we have to add okay opening stock plus closing stock so uh, sorry i mis made a mistake average stock to find average stock opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2 so opening stock is 10000 plus closing stock 15000 and divided by 2 so we get 12500 okay 12500 so divide 50000 by 12500 we get four so stock turnover ratio is four times stock turnover ratio is four times okay now second uh, ratio we have to calculate that is debtors turnover ratio now debtors turnover ratio formula is 
credit sale upon average debtors okay now credit sale how much is the credit sale see in additional information credit sale is given that is 80000 so credit sale is 80000 divided by average debtors so in additional information already in the question itself they have given credit sale and average debtor average debtor is 12500 12,500. So, 6.5 times. Debtors turnover ratio is 6 times. 6.4 times. debtors turnover ratio 6.4 times how did i get debtors turnover ratio credit sales divided by average data so credit sales they have given 80000 average data 12500 now next ratio we have to find is creditors turnover ratio so creditors turnover ratio formula is credit purchase credit purchase divided by average account payable now credit purchase is already given in the question that is 40000 so right here 40000 now average account payable how we can get average account payable so to find average account payable creditors plus bills payable okay so creditors how much is the creditors 25000 and bills payable is 15,000. So 25,000 plus 15,000, 40,000. Okay, 25,000 creditors is 25,000 plus bills payable 15,000, 40,000. Okay, so uh, average account payable. 40,000. So, creditors turnover ratio is 1 times. Okay, next uh, ratio we have to find that is working capital turnover. Now to find working capital turn turnover, formula is sales upon working capital. Now how much is the sales given in the question? Sales are given 1 lakh. Sales are given 1 lakh. Okay, now working capital. Now to find working capital, how we can find working capital? Working capital is equals to current assets minus current liabilities. Okay. Now see in current assets as per the uh, balance sheet we have to take the current assets. Okay. And current liabilities from the balance sheet and their values. See here I have already taken. So current assets in the questions are stock, debtors, bills payable and cash and bank so stock is 15000 debtor is 15000 bills payable is 12500 cash and bank is 17500 see here it is given in the question then current liabilities creditors and bills payable now current assets total is 60000 and current liability total is 40000 so working capital is what current asset minus current liabilities so 60000 minus 40000 remaining is 20000 okay so the answer we get five times turnover five times working capital turnover is five times Now, 
next we have to find is sales to capital employed now sales to capital employed formula is sales upon capital employed into 100 now sales is 1 lakh okay already given in the question here it is given now for capital employed capital employed basically is what equity plus profit and loss account equity how much is the equity 1 lakh share capital means equity shares are 1 lakh and profit and loss account is 20,000 so 1 lakh plus 20,000 we get 1 lakh 20,000 to find capital employed we have to add equity share capital plus profit and loss account 1 lakh 20,000 So the answer is 0 0.83 raised to 1. Okay. Next, we have to find returns on shareholder funds. So, formula of returns on shareholder fund is net profit divided by shareholders fund into 100. So, net profit is 20,000 and shareholder funds are basically the uh, sh share capital and uh, profit and loss account. Okay, so 1 lakh 20,000. 1 lakh is the share capital and profit and loss account is the 20,000 and net profit is 20,000. So net profit 20,000 shareholders uh, fund is 1 lakh 20,000. How did I get 1 lakh 20,000? Share capital plus profit and loss account. So 20,000 divided by 1 lakh 20,000 into 100 we get 16.67 percent now next we have to find gross profit ratio so gross profit divided by sales into 100 gross profit is how much gross profit is 50,000 Gross pro, uh, calculate gross profit ratio, gross profit divided by sales into 100. So, gross profit is 50,000, sales is 1 lakh. Gross profit 50,000, sales are 1 lakh into 100. So, we get 50% gross profit ratio is 50% now next we have to find net profit ratio to find net profit ratio net profit divided by sales into 100 net profit is how much 20,000 sales are 1 lakh. Twenty thousand sales are 1 lakh into 100. So we get 20 percent. So net profit 20 percent. Next ratio we have to find is EPS. So EPS is equals to net profit upon number of equity shares. Net profit is 20,000. Now number of equity shares. See in the balance sheet, share capital they have given 1 lakh. Okay. And each share is of 10, 000, uh, 10 rupees. So the total. So 1 lakh divided by 10, we get 10,000. So number of equity shares are 
टेन थाउजेंड तो वी गेट ईपीएस टू ईपीएस टू Now last ratio we have to find that is operating ratio. Operating ratio formula is cost of goods sold plus operating expenses divided by sales into hundred. Cost of goods sold already we have got that is sales minus gross profit fifty thousand. So right here fifty thousand plus operating expenses. So see in the profit and loss account. operating expenses are basically administrative expenses and selling expenses so administrative expenses is how much 15000 selling expenses are 12000 so 15 plus 12000 27000 thousand is the operating expenses 50000 plus 27000 sales are 1 lakh into 100 so we get 77% okay operating ratio operating ratio is 77% okay so all 10 ratios we have calculated so the answer for stock turnover ratio is 4 times debtors turnover ratio is 6.4 times then creditors turnover ratio One time, working capital turnover ratio five time, sales to capital employed zero point eighty three raised to one, returns on shareholders fund sixteen point sixty seven percent, gross profit ratio fifty percent, net profit ratio twenty percent, EPS two, operating ratio seventy seven percent. Okay, so in this way you have to calculate. the ratios so i hope student you have understood today's session thank you very much please subscribe my youtube channel like and share the video and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notification